alternative dig talk real issues real talk you have got to get up pretty early to go do something We are the alternative dig talk with our mobile studios we are redefining tv presentation just as technology is setting the pace we are blending our approach with fresh perspectively designed breakfast show the mighty drive informative and entertainment show exclusive and live interviews we president msebe ni wadde juzi na mulaba apima kaunga kilo 2 tasubula kalia nini bwa bali ya kilo 5 we are nemo kulisa igwanga ne bali mundekera jagala kweva za the alternative digi talk it wadde kanoka mighty drive era na abantu uliriza bonna abali ku mikutu jagala basa ba mugendo maso noku uliriza I'll give it to you just a click away on your phone, tablet, laptop and smart TVs as we are streaming live on our social media platforms on the road and on the go. We are the alternative dig talk. Snap talk with your girl Teddy Tenjo every Saturday right from 6 to 7 it is your responsibility o mwana wo kubera mu nyumba ngate bambo te yasuze bweru mbo bamo banja rwenda koyo kula baba abalenza baba sajja abakunga mutufu te babulirwa nga babula towera bila nti tuli wana ku alternative dig talk mukwana gwa gwali etu pikichi wandi agadde togireko is it about family you can take your time Look for a job. Stabilize. Men will come. Men will always be there. You will get the men. Bona go yagal msaje na go yagal uja mufuna. Mbaka nse doko. Mbaka ketu ke. Bina bitu ya suenga na uja mufuna. Na ingo olia si tudetu. Ya kede kumacha baga nanti si tudetu. Na inga mbutufu wa gami nti ya chari. Chari mbutu. Is it outside family? Is it society? Oh, could it be relationships? Just be commenting a topic yunajwa njia gade togele. Kwa tujia kwa tujogela kwa nuku. The alternative dig talk will share a nganzi. The snap talk. Hey Ugandans, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kiki, the Deputy Defence Spokesperson and actually the Deputy Spokesperson for the Uganda People's Defence Forces. I was hosted on Alternative Dig Talk. I encourage all Ugandans that this is the way to go. Always watch participate give your views and ask questions on alternative digital digital the way to go the alternative digital real issues real talk
Lionel Messi leaves Barcelona after a prosperous lifetime career, ladies and gentlemen. He is the headline that has hit all uh, centers and all media houses in the world, ladies and gentlemen. After a prosperous lifetime career, the legend has decided to take a bow from uh, Barcelona. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. It is a morning and we are here. It is the Mighty Drive Show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to have you today. It is always an honor to wake up every morning with you, serve you, because yes, we made a commitment with you uh, to break down having a conversation with Uganda and that is what we are exactly doing today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a musical drive and it is a Friday. My name is Edgar Matthew Karuhanga and yes, in studios, it's already, already, uh, you know what they call Chajudeda uh, Muruganda, it's already full to capacity, ladies and gentlemen. We have X Flavor in the building already. He is an international artist, a new artist on the blog. He will be telling us what he thinks uh, of his career and everything that is going on in uh, the country and in the world of music. What are his future prospects? That and much more coming your way in this edition of uh, The Mighty uh, Drew Rive. I started off with a note of uh, Lionel Messi yesterday evening the world was surprised by uh, you know the information and news that were di that was disseminated by FC Barcelona claiming or in fact not claiming but assuring everybody that Lionel Messi has left the club for good Lionel Messi has been at this club from the time he was tender I think at around five years or four yes he was discovered and uh, he was treated by this particular club you remember uh, Messi had a shortage of uh, one hormone that wouldn't let him grow I don't know biologically what that hormone is called why is it thyroxine hormone but thyroxine it works on mental retardation but there is that one that uh, the hormone that makes you not be able to grow Messi was not when he was not able to, to he had a, a shortage of a hormone that wouldn't accept him to actually grow so Barcelona uh, got him from uh, the you know the grassroots of Argentina brought this young kid on the block and uh, he became one of the legends of the game if not the best at it you know Messi after a prosperous career with over four Champions League titles uh, with the Copa America with uh, that is with Argentina with over nine uh, to ten La Ligas and uh, different different titles Messi uh, Lionel Messi has actually uh, you know bowed down from Barcelona he's expected to leave the club after his contract is not be was not able to be renewed because of you know the different uh, challenges coming in from money and uh, the different different uh, challenges so it is a good luck from uh, the mighty drive to the legend himself you know Messi we don't know where he's exactly going to be uh, going or joining but uh, let's pray that uh Maybe he finds himself a very, very a good club that maybe can accommodate such a talent. Remember, uh, many links have been made uh, to Lionel Messi, starting with Manchester City. Manchester City was thought of to be the club that will actually, you know, take over this uh, Argentine uh, Spaniard, Argentine Spaniard uh, player. Because yes, he, has, he was born in Argentina, but he actually has been raised in uh, Spain. So that makes him, I think, a pseudo, you know, citizen who has uh, both. Uh, uh, Argentina and by the way who could actually play for Spain just because uh, uh, Argentina came back so fast and they're like man we need you to play for our uh, country so ladies and gentlemen that is the news that is, ca that is coming in uh, from uh, uh, Barcelona right there in the world of sport let's cross over uh, to home here let's talk music Eddie Kenzo yesterday uh, un unfortunately uh, got an accident uh, along Masaka highway he was uh, coming from Masaka I think coming to Kampala but this gentleman and his crew actually flipped and uh, you know, yeah, the, uh, according to people who are there, they saw a car flipping like around uh, three to uh, two to three times, which is actually so sad. But fortunately, nobody was hurt from this collision and accident. Uh, Eddie Kenzo is safe. He was rushed to the nearby clinic. We don't know you know, what is happening right now but I think he is in a stable condition and uh, he will be addressing Ugandans to tell them how he is because you know a superstar like himself has a lot of following and thus he ceases to be, uh, you know, he ceases to be what he thinks he is, but he becomes uh, an actually as an, uh, you know, an asset of the people. So people always want to know how their superstar is doing. So Eddie Kenzo uh, survived an accident yesterday, and uh, we should keep him in the prayers uh, so that uh, he can fully recover very, uh, very well. That news broke at around 9 a.m. in the morning yesterday. I think um, most of you who have been on social media have actually seen this particular uh, story by Eddie Risa Musuza, a.k.a. Uh, Kenzo, a.k.a. Tata Ni. Tata Inaba na wabili. Maya ni Amal. Yes, Tata Maya ni Amal. Gega mauli ya gavawali e wamu yimbi Eddie Risa Musuza, wabili Eddie Kenzo. 
mauli ya manzo za tufunga kwa wabwani wanga tukene kwa mbiye mizanyo oba tusoke ndoza katusoke tumaleko wani waka na uh, umuchala pe ruth chemutai ya yonge de uh, kumekinga uganda proud mbo ya genzi na wangula omdali kwa zabu wali in the 3000 meters tipo chess mu, mu mizanyo jile ja olympics e jibu mbuja mchibu gai cha japan mguwanga ili ya japan e wali mu tokyo ni mbibu mbibu gai vila la mbibu mbibu gai vila japan nyo mchala ndo simu chala mukuru miaka 2 mwe 2 abade yakatandika career ye yo kubera omupolisi yaze nakola echai bunyiswa twade tunafuna zabu by the way in fact she is the first woman to get gold in the history of this country ya soso kubanga wangu la zabu mugwanga limeria Uganda so chikula gachi chikula gantu mchala ono abade by the way first of all lucky and she has been consistent and she's been hard working because you don't just get gold just like that it comes with hard work it comes with consistency it comes with passion so congratulations peruth chemtai you made the country proud everybody is actually so proud of chemtai uh, that is it and you know how the world likes to affiliate themselves with success the moment you become successful everybody will always come your way and they'll be congratulating you left right and center find a problem that you will solve and uh, you'll be celebrated as well uh, now chemutai has actually won herself gold everybody wants to be a friend uh, to chemutai that is the the the, the, uh, uh, the paradox of life people always want to you know stay with you because maybe you're good or at something because let us talk about chemutai before she actually flew uh, to japan for the olympics nobody was actually talking about this young lady who even supported her who even gave her the funds that were uh, that were able to uh, take her to the olympics that is uh, those are the things you have to actually ask yourselves because let's not uh, always want to celebrate success yes she is successful she was able to you know uh, go and in japan and really represent our country our national anthem was sang and when you listen to the commentator oh my god Uganda Uganda is one of the friendliest countries in the world which is very true by the way and uh, one of the most peaceful countries uh, at that uh, point as well uh, so mwami ono omchalo no peruth chemtai ya making the Uganda proud about kuwe national anthem ya fe wakati uolo gondo baba and two then ne bateka kone flag ya fe and see you now thank you so much peruth chemtai it is a really really an honor and privilege to have maybe you are, you've made history when i'm also here present and uh, reporting for the country so that is uh, something that i'm forever grateful about it's not every day that you see someone win gold in the olympics uh, ask yourself by the way uganda has only three gold uh, medals that we've got from the olympics from the time olympics started in 1968 up to now, Uganda has only actually won uh, three gold medals. And it is the first of its kind for a female, a woman, a lady, a Miss Peruth Chemutai, to win gold for the country. That is a really, really an awesome performance. Let's cross over to the world of sport in uh, these a few minutes that are uh, yet to you know, to get done. Uh, let me start with Hurricane. Hurricane up to now, Tetuna Manya Club, Chija Genda Kumanga, Zanya season, Yeneja. You can season again, Kumetanika, in 10 days, uh, the league is going to be resuming right there in the English Premier League. Now, you talk about Tetumanyi Team Uchi, Mwami Yono, Chija Genda Kumanga, Zanya. You talk about Yom Man City, Miyariye Singo Kumanyi Kiwanti, Yegendo Kumutu Wala. Yabade Tenaba Kumutu Wala, because Bafunye 100 million Jack Grealish. By the way, Jack Grealish afuse omusambi omungereza asoke dedda lokubanga wangula okubanga agulwa sente zino eza bay omweza amanyi nyo bamuguze millions ziri chikumi eza izi sente zino eza pound by the Jack Grealish is young 24 years old mvubuka bada kubira ali mu team ya Aston Villa the captain wa team wenu ya Aston Villa so as we are speaking right now he is a Manchester City player we to ogerera Jack Grealish maulira amalala Ndoza mm, tuina wo um, omwami omulala Jack sorry Hurricane Hurricane bademba gamba tetuma yiti mchichi agenda kubanga agenda mkubanga uh, Manchester United uh, yaliye mwagala na ingala gachajiriko uh, then Manchester City yaliye etunuli e, duwa nyo okubanga yitimu e agenda okubanga signing omwami ono na era paka chibade techina tu kilida uh, so katulinde tulabe hurricane and agenda mtimu china yesa zinongai wafunye jack grillish atel you know messi katina ya yingi the equation because contract you know messi we yawe deko mbasalona tebaji zizavu jam ila mbasalona igambi omwami yon tagenda kuwanga sigala kuklabu enu 
That means there are three favorite clubs in Zinzo Kubanga Solo Octoa Lionel Messi. I saw Solo Solo Mosala Gwechi Chisoka. I tell you, Nay Kenyan is a Solo Kubanga, we didn't win me as a Solo Kuanguia Mukopo. Molimo team we are PSG. Team of Manchester City. There's a team of Manchester United, but they more get a co. I think I will have potential of Kwanga Solo Musa Sulean Sing, Glass Olo Zimu, and Manchester United, the Manchester City is a solo Sasolo Mammy or no. I tell you, the team of their PSG. Now you want to know what I know. PSG are still favorites of Kwanga Solo to Alumam or Mammy or Lino Messi because why? The PSG already but they a e, e, form in the team here in Nunji, a choke with the center Mazina or Tuna Munti. PS ki baleta kati gigi wina old drum mwari, baleta Sergio Ramos wali, baina kipa uh, chime chivogo kacha Italy, uh, gigi Donnarumma, bachili nana chuchili wali chukubo mupira mulunji, uh, PSG ina Neymar, ina Kylian Mbappe. Kega mawotu ni team Messi mwagendo kufiti ngovulunji ya kubo mupira uguna vayo, chimanya matukwe vana ayagala. Of course it would definitely be uh, PSG Paris Saint Germain. So, watu na muno gamba yes, uh, uh, PSG Jackson Wallo Kumusa Zuano Musente Kwanga PSG by the way Eba de sente zina Na ye uh, I think If Messi wanted more of a competition He would actually come uh, Through to uh, he would actually come through to England, maybe Manchester City. Na in Manchester City, that they are coming over a million pounds, million pounds to come. In that sort of one, on a Saint, in that local one, get Italy, you know, Messi. It's me and you, and we are still watching, and we shall find out more about actually uh, this. Paul Pogba, yes, Paul Lebile Pogba, Omamio ya zanya timo ya Manchester United. Dino ya jamu bili kumi na mukaga. Na ya bada kuyo mpira. Kwa de simulu unji nyo na yate sugo gamo mvi. Because everybody and the whole world knows the potential of uh, Paul Lebile uh, Pogba. Pogba kuwa no mpina mungi. No gotuwa gira kwa is a World Cup winner 2018. Uh, and he was a finalist of the Euros in 2016. He has uh, won himself a couple of accolades starting from Juventus. He has Italian Serie A. Then he also as a Europa with Manchester United. No mami ono, a yinzo kusika nando ku Manchester United, kubanga, evi gamu mwenye yalibi ayo gira, yalibi ayo wanange, umisaji ono yeta gama dridi ya mugule, kontrakte sigaza kwa mwaka gumu, tunakula tiyama Manchester United, na eno, Kia ika mkatale kano Paul Pogba wadaada kubo mpira kwaade mulu unji kugwanga. Neku klabu kwenyini. Last season tuwala wanga Pogba ya samba mpira ku Manchester United kwa hali mulu unji nyo. Uh, tuwala wenga cheka bagenda kuwa nga mulu ungele nda gano. Natuwa wa mulu ungele nda gano eno. Paul Pogba angena kubo ilanga ya Musambia single phone ya simbi. Uh, Walimu timu ya Manchester United. Otoge yanga Paul Pogba ando zalimi ya mtuwala unga habili mwe tano. Na ya gala kuweze mtuwala asatu mwe tano. Ba, nejisuka. Because David Dike kati ya, ya singa wa sambi. Wa weba sente. Muli igatini Manchester United. Afune mtuwala wa mtuwala asatu musambu na chitundu. Nye seja pound. Na ikati Paul Pogba. Ya gala kubanga ya musambi ya singo fune nsimbi. Waliku timu ya Manchester United. Gomu pila agumanyi. Okuja kwa the problem is uh, you always ask yourself which side of the bed did uh, Paul Pogba, you know, wake up from? Because wawa ake devu lunji, Pogba jaku kuwido mpira mulunji. Ne wawa ake devu bi, my dear. <laughs> Ajaku kuwido mpira anga go, um, si mulunji nyo. So Pogba ye, ye mtu alinga, alinga bantu go, go gamba bano, it depends on the type of, uh, you know, uh, mood jali mu. Pogba wawa zenga ze kuwa, because wumula wakati ku France, Pogba kuwa mpira ku France no gamba wawa guwani. Is this Pogba, is the Pogba the one that is playing in Manchester United, the one playing at France? Unoche ibu zamu. Because France are very comfortable, they are passing the ball, they are assisting the goals. And the Manchester United are very happy to see the ball from Bruno Fernandes. But I have before, my God. Check out the ball from 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 the Bruno Fernandes is a great leadership. Uh, so, buli omu haba ino kula, nepo kubaya sala woko apinga his game era Manchester United. Ye team wetu nulikidua by the way, okumange so ulo kuwa ngule chikopo, echa season ye ja 2021, 2022. Because of, you know, the people they have signed, they brought Jadon Sancho, they brought uh, Rafael Varane. Uh, I don't know if they can actually get a Messi. <laughs> because when you get Lionel Messi, of course, you have got football. <laughs> Messi is the home of football. I, I, I don't know. By the way, watu watamanyi Lionel Messi. Ono mulenzi ya mulenzi, I singa kone ilibira. Nti, tali, nti mweri, he doesn't force what he does. Lionel Messi just plays football. Chovola, abasajia baku gamba wali wa motende se. Luis Enrique, ne, ne ba Pep Guardiola. In fact, ne Pep Guardiola ya chogila. Because Pep Guardiola ya soka no kutende ka, uh, you know, Messi wa ogenda wa wangula Champions League. Ezo, zeba wa wangula, ebidi. Lionel Messi ya soka ila dalo wangula. I think that was 2-6 and... Uh, I think two six and two eight. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of that. Of that Champions League. I think. I think twenty eight. 
28-29 ya wewa. Tuba wangula mu Champions League bili. Na inga pepu kadio la kugamba. Mino Messi yeti ya mugamba anga chakola. Timu yonaja jigamba kwa tambu la voti. Kukula voti. Nino Messi ya mugamba. Go and be Messi. Because that is what he does. He's just Messi. Kati Messi wa mugambe. Nti kumupira. Gupa singe voti. Omanyi there are players that you have in a, in a game. Nga ye agenda looze chintu cha agendo kore dao. Nga teche chigendo fit ingira o wenyini. Nti wabaga mengenda kushoot ingira wano. Ola bila da yeta ga shooting ila wabaga mbegena kuba pass ila weta ga ukula obola mambuno ye pass ibadde kula chi igwanyiza one famino che chimu famino wano um, Liverpool those are people who actually think outside the box our south america bayine ngeje wa komu mpira ogwenja ulo nti ye takola chintu chiri straight akola chintu chimu jide mu mutogo ate mu buddo bo bwenyini ne mula wane neima in fact bi wakola our south america bo umupira bagu yi gaudinda eda chikaziri habili ya zaka ita kusawe mwe yo kumachamanya nze edgar matthew karuhanga it's time we go for a short commercial break but when we come back x flavor is already in the building we're going to be talking to him and he's going to be telling us more about his career his life story his music and more of his experience as an international artist my name is edgar let's go for a short commercial break this is the musical drive <laughs> Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Snap Talk with your girl Teddy Tanger every Saturday, right from 6 to 7. It is your responsibility. Oh, man, I walk better than you. But got a bomb, but yes, with the way room, Boba Mobanja range. Poor Clava, a balance, a Baba Sajava, Funga, but of the Babu, Rangababula. To where I will anti-tool you and the alternative dig talk. Mukwana Gwai Gwadi, a topic she wanted to get to get Is it about family? You can take your time. Look for a job, stabilize, men will come, men will always be there, you will get the men. Bona Goyagal, Sadi, no Goyagal, Jamufana, but I'm a doctor. Embaga, okay, to be not between us and now, Jabba. Name Goya to the two yaki of Matabaganti, sit to the two. Name and Mutu for a garment, Yachari. Is it outside family? Is it society? Oh, could it be relationships? Just be commenting a topic in a Jandaga de Togger, or to Jacob to Yoga Kwanaku. The alternative dig talk will share a Nanzi, the snap talk. Hey Ugandans, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kiki, the Deputy Defense Spokesperson, and actually the Deputy Spokesperson for the Uganda People's Defense Forces. I was hosted on Alternative Dig Talk. I encourage all Ugandans that this is the way to go. Always watch, participate, give your views, and ask questions on Alternative Dig Talk. Dig Talk, the way to go. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. HK Entertainment. X 
display by the level, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's some more I think. Shake it, shake it, baby, one time. This kind of love, we go do like that. Shaku, shaku, we go dance like that. Number one girl, just do it like that, yeah, yeah. Each and every morning, girl, I love the way you do it like that. I love the way you come around here in the city like that. Oh, my little baby, yo, oh, oh, you the romance me like that, too. I love the way you cool my temper, baby, just like that, too. I wanna tell you what's up, baby, what's up, oh. I really wanna fall in love with you this time, my woman, oh. I wanna tell you what's up, oh, oh. baby, what's up, oh. Girl, I wanna tell you, baby, I, when I see you I see everything I be wanting for life Hey, baby, your body It de make me think I like a liga like a yo, yo, yo hey, The way you wind out there, you the cool of my temperature Body closer to me, body like that. Girl, I wanna feel you every time it goes a lot of way. You chopping in my money in the city like that. Do me like that, bring it like that. Bring your body closer to me, body like that. Girl, I wanna feel you every time it goes a lot of way. You chopping in my money in the city like that. Ooh. My baby, you and I realize that my life will depend on you. If you leave me and run away, girl, I put all my blame on you. You that see me so I'm ready for your love Girl, I need you in my life, yeah When I see you I see everything I've been wanting For life And hey, baby Your body It de make me think I like a liga like a yo 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 And I, The way you wind out there You the cool of my temperature actually bringing the club to your home yeah, man, since the yeah. clubs are closed we have brought the club to your home it is a beautiful jam from x flavor he's an international artist who is residing in uganda we'll be having him here up 9 a.m he'll be telling us his journey the, the journey from his country to here and how he's, he is finding music in um he's also <laughs> could, could, how is finding music is in an outside country? At We will really discover whether he was born from here or from um, the country that I do not want to disclose. He will disclose the country. He is from Farida because that is my name. You are watching the Night Drive. The page is the Alternative Uganda on Facebook. Like the page and follow us, Monang, and get engaged in the discussion. Comment, like, and share. To Jacobanga, take two batwala bulunja. I am with Edgar Mafio Karhanga, and our quote of the day is Before I give Edgar Mafio, I am seeing him very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep my excitement. He's trying to keep calm. So, in <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do not know whether the excitement is coming from um, the international artist, the vibe of the song. The what? Vibe, <laughs> I don't know, but he will be saying why he's too excited today. Uh, the quote of the day is, is, the truth is unless you let go, unless you forgive yourself, unless you forgive the situation, unless you realize the situation is over you cannot move forward unless you let go 
unless you forgive yourself, unless you realize that the situation is over, you cannot move forward. Since we are going to a weekend, I wanted to give you this kind of quote. I am entering a new week. You have tried, you have given it your, your best. If it is work, you can change, you can always start afresh. You can change. Sometimes we talk risking. You can risk and do a business. Let it be, 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 let business find your passion omuntu wajja kugamba nedda kola kino sente zizo and the passion is is yours bono kola kintu kyo taina passion it is going to fail wechi bachiganye kiliza kisoka na kukiriza you accept acceptance yes. accept that it has failed when you accept you can move forward ediga mafikara hanga a very good morning good morning farida i'm happy to be here by the way you're quoting kute konyo yeah, oftentimes we like to, um, you know, look at the closed door or look at something or what we, we thought would be, yet it's actually, it's not what it, it is now. So ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it's okay to give up and you say, Mani, let me just chill. But today is not a day of uh, giving up. <laughs> today is a day of having fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ex-slaver in studios. This gentleman just gave me uh, one of uh, the tracks I've not had in Uganda in a while. I swear, there is that harmony. It feels like I'm having a whiskey that you're doing something. <laughs> this kid is good, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, Uganda has fresh talent, guys, that we don't know about. These boys know what to do. And as the Mighty Drive, we bring you those unheard voices, those young people that you've not heard of yet have extreme talent. Today in studios, we have Mr. X Flavor. He will be telling us about himself, but uh, allow me, ladies and gentlemen, cross over to the day, to the artist of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Mr. X Flavor. Woo! I'm even giving you a whole nation. <laughs> <laughs> COVID-19, we have to go. We have some time. <laughs> yeah, we have actually some time. Even yeah. if we, we, we do like this, it will still come if we yeah, yeah, man. So, <laughs> I'm actually, actually, okay. Flavor, what's up, man? Yeah, cool. I'm a, you, you, you're so cool. <laughs> you, you're even yeah. speaking like a cool dude. <laughs> man, Flavor, Flavor, uh, first of all, um, I'd first compliment your music, man. This track you've given us, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it, it has a different feel. Yeah, in the actually. music I've, I've felt in Uganda, yeah. how does how do you actually make this magic, man? Um, uh, okay, let me say it's a God-given talent. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm so much into outside music. Yeah. But I live in Uganda. Oh. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I make things the way I feel. Oh. Yeah. That's why I came out with the vibe. Wow, the vibe was actually so good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mr. X Flavor. X Flavor, yeah. say hi to the people who are seeing you today. Yeah, hello guys. What's up? This is mm. your same boy, X Flavor, live from the Diggy Talk. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about, so mm. I just want you guys to check it out. Oh. Yeah, big up, one love. Okay, man. Yeah. I really don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but I can hear <laughs> where they say, how are you? Something like Ogamba yeah, like Chi. Yeah. You say Tewari, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's what I know. Mr. X Flavor. X Flavor, let's start off from where it all started. You know, as the Mighty Drive, you want to know your story, your personal story, because uh, your yeah. story can influence another person young, out there, young person yeah, sure. so let tell us about yourself where were you born who are you who is X flavor all right um mm. all I'm gonna say is uh, mm. I'm a Ugandan yeah yeah I was born in Uganda okay in mm. America um, American Hospital in Kabalagala mm. yeah and uh, my mom is from South Sudan the hospital is in Kabalagala. Uh, yeah. American <laughs> Embassy <laughs> Hospital <laughs> in Kabalagala. Okay. So I grew up here and I went back to my mother's country, that's South Sudan. Oh. To see my people, they came back in 2019. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But we want to know the process of you growing up. You know, we want to know your life story. Where yeah. do, uh, after being born at Embassy Hospital, how do you grow? How was your, your journey? What schools did you actually go to? Those things? Yeah, actually, yeah. my first school was in Arua. Yeah, okay. I started in uh, Anyafio mm. till P5. 
it was called, called Anyafio. Anyafio Primary okay. School, yeah. yes, yes. So from Anyafio, I shifted to another area in Arua called uh, Awindiri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did uh, school in uh, some school called uh, Onjivu. That's where I finished my P7. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, then I went back to the country. Mm -hmm. I finaled my secondary school from South Sudan. Oh, so you did your secondary school from South Sudan? Yeah, oh. yeah. Okay. So how was the process of the secondary school? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, everyone has to hustle. You know? <laughs> yeah. They say no pain, no gain. Of course, of yeah, course. So yeah. I have to make sure that I, I work for what I want. Oh, okay. Yeah, to have the certificate and at least when they see me, they see my certificate, they'll be like, yeah, yeah you went to school. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but before we reach even there, let's come back to primary. Uh, were you already singing? Did you know that maybe you will sing? Something like that? I didn't know. Mm -hmm. By then, I was a big fan of Radio Weasel. Oh. I used to listen to their music, especially radio. Yeah. You know, he, they were giving me that vibe. The vibe, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was in primary. That was in primary, yes, yeah. I remember. Like, I never knew that radio I was going to sing. Yeah, mm -hmm. never knew I was going to sing. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. just getting the vibe in primary. What did you want to be by then? What did you feel you were going to do? Okay. Let me say, mm. when I reached P5, mm. I wanted to sing. It wasn't easy because, you know, the family mm. wasn't... Okay, you know, when you're starting something, it's not going to work out in the family. Mm. They're going to be like, you're going to... Yeah, you're going to end up maybe down, you know? Mm. Yeah, so they wanted me to concentrate. Then I concentrate mm. till I finish my secondary... I mean, my primary. Mm. Mm. Then in secondary, <coughs> senior one, that was where I started. Okay. The journey, yeah. That is in South Sudan. South Sudan, yeah. Could he draw for us a difference between um, growing up in South Sudan and in Uganda? Did you find any difficulties changing yeah, the environment from Uganda to South Sudan? Um, let me say, from South Sudan, everyone sings. Mm? Yeah, everyone sings, and mm. it takes too hard for you to be recognized in the country. Because everyone want to do music. Yeah. So, yeah. But here in Uganda, I've seen a big change. Yeah, especially you guys, you know. Yeah, like, that's given a big change in my life. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, is it because, I really want to know, is it because music is the only way where they, the only job where they don't ask for certificates, that's why everyone sings in South Sudan, or it is because people are talented? Okay, let me say people are talented. You know, talent is something I can't really explain, but it's a magic. Yeah. Yeah. So, in my country, they have talent. Everyone have the talent. That's why when you see their shows, everyone want to perform. Yeah. So, you find out that in the country, the music business is more bigger than other businesses. Yeah, sure. Okay, so Flavor, tell us about your family. Uh, your family, your home. Do you have siblings? Were you raised with them? How was the experience growing up with? Were you alone or something like that in Arua? Just tell us more. All right, in Arua, I grew with my siblings. Yeah, I grew with my siblings. Only me and my mommy and. Oh. My young ones. Okay. Yeah, though I, though I lost my daddy oh. when I was three. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so at first one, it was always you and your mother, uh, you know, hustling together. Yeah, yeah, we keep hustling, you know. My mom has been there for me, like, oh. till day one. You know. Love you, mom. <laughs> I know you're watching. <laughs> no. Mom, yeah. mom is watching. Mom, she's thanks watching. for watching. You've given us that one. A talent, eh? yeah. Mom, uh, let me tell you now, Mom, this <laughs> is an honor, by the way, to have your, your boy around here, and your boy has nice music. I pray you continue to support him through yeah. all the way. Uh, so, uh, we're talking uh, primary, and we've started our journey in secondary. Mm -hmm. So, when you started secondary, did you, you were seeing yourself as uh, singing. How did you start your singing, your first experience? How was everything when yeah. you started entering music? Let me say, uh, start, starting music was mm -hmm. not easy. Wow. Mm. Okay, going to the studio, and uh, you're supposed to give a song that has a meaning. My first song was a hip hop. Yeah, I went to the studio. You know, I just had some little money. I went to the studio. The producer was my friend. I was like, "Yo, 
I want to do something. That was in which class? That was in senior one. Uh -huh. That is when you went to studio in senior yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, senior one. I was like, <laughs> you knew what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then I was like, yo, bro, I want to do something, but I have this money. And I'm like, senior one, how old were you in senior one? Like 12? I was, I, I was 15, I'm 15, sure. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I paid a guy, and the guy just gave me a beat. I, okay, what I sang was not actually my, my vibe, but I just wanted to try. I did the song and I was surprised to see people appreciating, yeah, you're doing It was good. a hip hop song. It was a hip hop and song. And you don't do hip hop. You didn't want to do hip hop by then, I think. Okay, by then I was yeah. doing hip hop. Yeah. yeah. I never knew that I was going to do this kind of style today. Oh, you know? okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. so many, many guys were appreciating the music, so it was giving me the energy to keep giving were, money. Were, were you selling it to, like, as you're doing the song, uh, did you disseminate it to your friends, your, 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 you know, your, your school, or just yeah. different radios? And then yeah, 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 let me say... Before you continue, people need a capella from him. Yeah, that's what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people are saying they want you to give them a capella. <laughs> give them a capella so you continue with the conversation. All right. Yeah. All right. Each and every morning, girl, I love the way you do it like that, yeah. I love the way you come around here in the city like that, yeah. yeah. Oh, my little baby, oh, oh, you they romance me like that, oh. I love the way you cool my temper, baby, just like that, oh. I want to tell you what's up, yo, <laughs> baby, what's up? <laughs> I really want to fall in love with you this time, my woman. Oh. I want to tell you what's up, uh, uh, baby, what's up? Oh. Girl, I want to tell you, baby, yeah, yeah, when I see you, yeah, I see everything I be wanting for life. Eh, pepe, your body, yeah, it de make me think a la gali gala ga yo yo yo. Eh, nana, the way you are in our day, you de cool to my temperature. 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 You de temperature. I was waiting for that part. Yeah, <laughs> in the temperature. <laughs> But now, now I've I've actually listened to the lyrics and uh, you write your own music. Yeah, sure. We'll reach there. You'll tell me what inspires those lyrics. <laughs> as the romance and the tenderness. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is still the, the Mighty Drive show. My name is Edgar Matthew Karuang. I'm not alone. I'm, I'm with temperature. You you calm down, right? Right? Am yeah, I right? Temperature right? is like cooling. You feeling? Yeah. So every time he has that feeling. Yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're in senior one. <laughs> we are having a Edgar, are you really excited? Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I know for me, I sport talent when I see it. That is the thing. I can know that this person is going to be good and he's going to be great. And I'm telling you, man, if you keep on that trajectory, <laughs> that is what my philosopher tells me, Alex, to actually make it If yeah. you, keep, you keep that trajectory, I'm telling you, success is definitely going to be yours. Yeah, sure. Because first of all, you have the talent, but then... Talent is maintained by discipline, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it's always that. But we, we'll reach there. Let's first talk about uh, your, your, your prime. So you've gone and you've hit the studio. Yeah, and yeah. a young person like you, you've produced a hip-hop jam. How did it go? How did it make you feel, you as a person? Yeah, makes me feel that I can do this. Mm. Yeah, mm. I never gave up. Okay. I keep investing. Mm. Yeah. I keep releasing, like, till one day, my 11th song, yeah, mm. made me someone in the country, like in my town. Wow. Was so I was already known in the country. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm going to give it in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but, but that is the 11th song. We want to know your process that yeah. led us to the 11th. So, after hitting the studios, this that. This is the 11th yeah. song. This one that we've played. No, no, no. Oh. This is, a, I think this is my new song. Oh. Yeah, with the, with the video. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we were still talking about when you were there. After hitting the studios, you've been promoted. Uh, so how did you feel in school? Did you maybe divert from your paper, your st studies and maybe concentrate on music? How did it go after your first tune? Yeah, let me say, in school, I never gave up in studying. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. To convince my parents, 
allow me do music. Mm. I was studying as well studied. while singing. Mm. Yeah. But most of my time was in school. Weekends I'm in the studio. Yeah. Okay, so they would allow you to, to go to studios and or in like a boarding school. I don't know how how does how is the system there? Yeah, we have boarding there too, but I was in day school. Mm. Yeah. So that is uh, Mr. X Flavor for you. We're still in his high school. He's finished his heater studios. He's done his first track. Uh, so how do you add on the second track? By the way, what, what were some of the challenges apart from the money that you went through in order to get that first song done? Yeah, let me say the first time I went to the studio, I thought things were easy. Mm. When I went, they gave me the price. And the price of the song, the ad you're supposed to pay is almost the half of my school fees. Yeah, so I got fervent because I had this Ugandan guy he used to teach me how to work. I used to work, he pays me, I go to the studio. Yeah. Okay. How is the, you really want to know the education system of South Sudan? Is it the same as Uganda? You didn't find any difficulties switching from Uganda to the secondary or high school of South Sudan? Do we have the same things? No, mm. I can't say it's the same. Because did you find any difficulties uh, or inconveniences? All right, let me say the education system in South Sudan can always or can almost be the same for Uganda because in my school, Ugandans were teaching us. Oh. Yeah. So there it was a little bit easy because if they are from Uganda, mm. meaning if I come to Uganda, I can still study well. Yeah. So. It, the way I'm seeing it, it wasn't the same. Yeah, because in the country, the education system is different from here. Because, for example, primary ends in P8, and while in Uganda it's in P7. P7. Secondary ends in Senior 4, here is in Senior 6. Yeah, so I'm not seeing it in the same way. So, yeah. when you finish so you guys, when you finish Senior 4, it is straight away to university? Yeah. That's what, okay, that's what most, most of them do. They finish, they come. We should go and go study university. from that Sudan. <laughs> it leaves, it leaves you, but it leaves you on one year. one year. Because for them, they yeah, go up P8. Year, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so we are through high school. Are you joined the university? I haven't joined yet. I'm supposed to join in Uganda. When did you finish high school, senior four? I finished my senior four 2019. Yeah. So you are the group that is being dis disturbed by Corona. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, from that time, they failed to go back to school because of yeah, yeah. COVID-19. Apart from music, which other um, uh, job would you really, really want to do? Yeah, I'm a barber, salon barber. Mm -hmm. I work in salon, like I barb people's hair. Mm -hmm. That's the job I do. Yeah. I can do that. Flavor, yeah. so um, during that time of high school, how many jams did you produce? Did you release? Yeah, mm. I can't remember all the songs because mm. mm. they have collabs that I did with people and mostly we were singing for the school because mm. the school used to have entertainment competitions mm. and that's where exactly I raised up. So we always should perform competing with other schools when it comes to music. Yeah, so I've done a lot of songs, but I don't consider them yeah. to be played in my presence right now. Why? Why? You, do, you don't like them? Why okay. don't you feel they, they the studio quality. Yeah. yeah. The studio quality was The studio fair. quality was not the way things are in Uganda. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but that's, that's the thing. It's a process. Every yeah, it time. was in FL, mm. FL Studio. Mm. But here, people use Logic. Mm. Yeah, Logic sounds much better and clear. Yeah. So when you're talking right now, how many songs do you have as an artist? Right now, mm. apart from the collabs, 
I have like 15 songs. 15? Yeah. 15, like 15 those are, songs. Like you can say these are my songs. Do you add on the other ones that you had in high school? Or yeah. these are if I add with the other ones in school, yeah. with all the collabs, that mm. is about 80 something songs. 80? Yeah. Wow. yeah. That means you already knew that you were going to sing. You've been yeah. dreaming of this. I've been dreaming. You've never had another dream. <laughs> oh. I was just telling them that you know you're not someone who actually talks a lot but mm -hmm. but your music speaks for you because um, you already played your jam and it's a nice jam yeah, so yeah. you said you have a total of 15 songs right now how yeah. many videos do you have yeah let me say mm -hmm. when I came to Uganda yeah yeah I decided to do new music because mm. I'm having new quality yes. of yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they are produ new producers. Yeah. Yes, 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 so when I came to Uganda, mm. at the moment I'm having like eight songs. Mm. Yeah, this is my first video. Oh. Temperature is my first video. Oh, okay. Yeah, because to get video, mm. like to offer it to to work for video was not hard. Like mm. was not easy. Mm. So I had to like make That's sure that I get yeah. something. You know, music in Uganda, you have to invest, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive. You have to invest a lot of money. It's expensive, yeah. Yeah, but so, um, you as a young artist, and uh, what, 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 what pushes you, you know? I just want to know because uh, you're a young artist who has sung abroad in Sudan, then you've come here and you're still pursuing and you're getting the little you're working from and investing in this music. What is actually pushing you to do this? It's a belief. Uh, I have the belief that one day, all the money I'm giving in is going to come back. Yeah, that's why I don't doubt my investment in my music. Yeah, oh, sure. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not... Various people buy that invest money, but it coming out in music, sometimes it's always a tussle. But I, are there some ways that you have come up with maybe to make sure that uh, you promote the music, you promote yourself and as, as an artist? Are there some things you're doing? Like what yeah. you've done today to come here and uh, be hosted on the Mighty Drive? Yeah, let me say mm. it's all about connection. Mm. Yeah, because mm. you can't sing and have a video and you be like you can promote it yourself. It's not going to work out. You need to have connections. You have to have assistance. Assistance, mm. people like promoting you and need you to pay them. Of course. Yeah, you need to pay them <laughs> so that. You can be taking where you want to be. You have to pay the DJ, you have to pay MC, the radio, the MC. Like presenters, mm. yeah, like, yeah. Everybody it's really expensive. Wow. How are you coping up? Well, how, what are you doing in order to get this money? Yeah, actually, apart from the barber job, mm. I got these guys that uh, signed me recently. They're mm. called HK Entertainment. They signed me recently. Wow. Yeah, so... Mm. Tell us more about HK. HK, because what are, who are they? Yeah, they are music promoters. They deal with label. Yeah, they are new They're to. Like a record label, or something. Yeah, yeah, like they that. are new to label. I mean, like to label. They signed me actually. Mm. Recently, I'm the first person to be signed. Wow. Yeah, okay. so they're working out with me, and I'm grateful. For they're, their... they're from Uganda here. No. One is from South Africa, he lives in Canada. The other guy is a South Sudanese, just an agent in Uganda. Okay. So, so the thing is, um, do, are they looking at creating a global market for you? Because first of all, your music can do glo can go global. That is one thing I know. You jump. Yeah. According to temperature, if most of them are like these ones, we'll play yeah, yeah. the other songs as we're coming back from the break. Yeah. But uh, so I want to know, uh, you know, are they are they looking at are you guys looking at promoting a, a brand market. a global market or you are looking at first first of all conquering uganda then going for the global market yeah we first want to conquer uganda mm. yeah because uh, okay. i believe in uganda it's going to be easy mm. for me because i have many guys i've known who have gone far likes of john black yeah yeah when i came 2019 it was a little bit mm. coming up right now is damn big mm. yeah and scanner. he keeps telling me bro you're going to make it you don't need to mm. give up no. yeah so big up bro <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. those yeah. are people you learn from the job yeah these are so. these are guys i i follow their footsteps oh, no. 
long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you want to first conquer Uganda, but uh, conquering Uganda also comes with some of its challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, we go for a short commercial break. But when we come back, I think, uh, Teddy, can, can we exit the, the sh we go for a short commercial break with temperature? We uh, uh, need to go with temperature. Temp temperature. temperature. How do you say it? <laughs> it's temperature, but I say uh, temperature. How are you? How are you? HK Entertainment. Explain by the level, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's some more I think. Shake it, shake it, baby, one time. This kind of love, we go to like that. Shaku, shaku, we go dance like that. Number one, we'll just do it like that, yeah, yeah. Each and every morning, can I love the way you do it like that? I love the way you come around here in the city like that. Your baby, oh, oh, you the romance me like that, oh I like the way you cool my temper Baby, just like that, oh I wanna tell you what's up Baby, what's up, oh I really wanna fall in love with you this time, my woman, oh I wanna tell you what's up, oh, oh. Baby, what's up, oh Girl, I wanna tell you, baby, yeah, yeah. When I see you I see everything I've been wanting for life Hey baby, your body It de make me think I like a liga like a yo 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 Hey Anna, the way you ain't now Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Hello, beautiful people. You're welcome to the Snap Talk with your girl Teddy Tanger. Every Saturday, right from 6 to 7, it is your responsibility. Alternative dig talk. Is it about family? You can take your time, look for a job, stabilize. Men will come. Men will always be there. You will get the men. Bona go yaga lo msaje jina go yaga lo jamu funa. Embaga ke tu ke. Bina bintu ya swenga na ujamba. Nengo ria si tu detu ya ke dekuma chapa ganti si tu detu. Nengo mbuto fwa gami nti ya chali. Chali mbuto. Is it outside family? Is it society? Oh, could it be relationships? Just be commenting atu pikiona jana yaga detu ge. Kuto jaka kuto jogela kuandu ku. The alternative dig talk ku share enganzi the snap talk. Hey Ugandans, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kiki, the Deputy Defense Spokesperson, and actually the Deputy Spokesperson for the Uganda People's Defense Forces. I was hosted on Alternative Digital. I encourage all Ugandans that this is the way to go. Always watch, participate, give your views, and ask questions on Alternative Digital. Digitalk, the way to go.
alternative dig talk real issues real talk second hour of the show it is 8 a.m we're going up 9 a.m i still have x flavor in the studios i really want to know how is how is he finding the music industry in uganda because as far as i know ugandans appreciate their own they they associate with uganda more than the songs in english how is he finding the the music industry yeah the music industry in uganda is big it's amazing and yeah, like the way I see things in Uganda mm. is not the way I see things in my country. Uganda is cooperative, you know, they push what they see big, to like to come out big. When they support talent, they push it. Yeah, they support talent and they push it because I've watched many shows of young talents being taken to the, you know, to the next level. I help them achieve their dreams. That's what I see in Uganda. Yeah. Uh, and you find there is a lot of competition in the music industry because we are seeing a lot of young artists coming up with good music. How are you dealing with it? Yeah, for me, it's not bad. It's you not know, bad? It's not bad because if everyone is trying to sing, mm. yeah, it depends on what you do. It depends on your music. Yeah. Haven't you fi uh, found any situations like you've given your song to a DJ or MC or whatever and they have not played it after promising you they will do, they will play the song? No, it's never happened. Oh. Yeah. The person I go to, like, uh, I give my song, they play the song the way they promise. Yeah. All I just have to do is I have to keep playing while they keep playing. Keep paying. Why they keep playing? Yeah. There is nothing for free. Yeah, nothing for free. For real. Yeah, sure. That's, that's the biggest there challenge. No, there has not been any person or DJ or TV host coming to you to for like to get your song for free, not asking for funds, for money to play your song. No, no, it has no. always been give me money, I will play your music. Yeah, you know it's business and yeah. I have no choice. I have to give it because I need it. Yeah, and I hope you uh, at least you can say. The alternative big talk has not requested for money from you, by the way. Yeah. And that is what we do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for us, we give uh, the Unheard Voices platform so that people can actually listen to them. Yeah, sure. We'll be reading more of the comments that they have dropped on the social media in just a few. But before we go there, I want to first know uh, when the song is, uh, uh, let me say, we are building the song. Let me use that word, building the song. What are some of the things you go through as you're going to write this song? Let's okay. Let's just get a case study of uh, temperature. Uh, <laughs> it's temperature, I guess. Yeah, That's the title of the song, "Temperature" by yeah. X Flavor, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but you said temperature, <laughs> temperature. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what did you? How did you actually come up with temperature song? What was yeah. the process? How was it? Okay, I'm so much into Nigerian movies. Yes, vibes and movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I watch their movies mm -hmm. and then. I love the way they speak their language. Yeah. So I create my song from what I see. Especially, you know, they are so much into comedy. You see a lady, you'll be like, hey, the way you're, the way you're looking is so nice. You're just cooling me. You know? You're cooling my temper. OK? Because when I see a lady is cooling someone's temper, I'll be like, OK, I can make it a temperature. Yeah, because we, we human beings, we have whereby your temperature is high, your temperature is cool. Mm. So I take the cool side whereby she's the one cooling your temperature down and uh, I make the song. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's when you say, let me write about this lady who's cooling someone's temperature. Yeah. Is there someone cooling your temperature as well? Um, I can't lie, I can't lie. Uh -huh. No one is cooling my temperature. <laughs> But someone is cooling people's temperature out there. But, but, so but the fact is, ex flavor, ex flavor. You get a basima, it's a flavor. So, when I get a good dream, is there someone? Yeah, that's a nice thing. Okay, I'm single. I'm single, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was a superstar singer. I thought you guys are the ones who are just wise. Yeah, we're well, <laughs> <I'm single laughs> just, just, just saying. Let's just say, relationship. Mm. Yeah, but. Uh, 
taken some long time, you know. Have you just had to. Have you been in a relationship before, right? You've been. I'm there, being, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what happened to your last relationship? Just um, asking. I'm, I'm not going personal, I'm just asking. Because yeah, this gentleman, um, there are many, many LEDs out there I know right now who are watching. And they want to know. They want to know. That. And you'll check the questions. You can. You see. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah. I just want to be open to you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My past relationship mm -hmm. was just because my girlfriend traveled out, out like outside the country, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, outside long time relationship cannot mm -hmm. cannot work out. So she got her guy, and so I just told her, you know, wish you well. Coolest, coolest temperature. That's all. <laughs> yeah. yeah sure. I expected. It. If you didn't say it, I was going to say it. <laughs> I was going to say it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and he's saying it in tears. Oh, cool your temperature. Yeah, I just told like, her, you know, everything good. So. No, but but you know, you're a young man, mm. and there are lots of opportunities yeah, out there. Yeah, and sure. I know the various ladies out there who like superstars like yourself, and. Uh, <laughs> but but now that is going to be a challenge. Uh, have you had a problem where um, we, we girls or females come to you just because of the artist you are, but not the person you are? Have, have you have you had like they fall for X flavor, but yeah. not for you as a person? Yeah, yeah. You've not yeah, even told actually, us your yeah. name, by the way. <laughs> yeah, your, let me say. Name? Yeah, let me say. It hasn't yet happened to me. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it has happened to other people. I'm mm. sure. But there are people, many people in my DM were girls, I like your song, I love your song, okay. Yeah, but I don't get time but, but, but to see like that. I love you. Um. Yeah, I, I've had many I love you, but I love you is not like a national anthem. So. Yeah, you just keep hearing I love you, it's just sounding like... These days it has lost even meaning. Yeah. You are just not ready for a relationship. Yeah, I'm ready for someone serious. I'm not ready what for someone. What kind of person do you really want to have it for your relationship? Okay, I can Let me say, I can't say I need someone who is maybe humble, mm. respectful. There are people in the beginning of the relationship. They're mm. okay with you. They're trying to make sure. They're trying to make make they, you they feel like picture, yeah. Yeah, make you the feel the like they are good. Mm -mm. But the background, the person is not okay. Yeah, so I make sure that uh, most most of the time, like I don't give the green light. But mm. yeah. goes, and and when you realize they are, they are, they are wolves in sheep skin. Uh, when I realize, I don't. I just like take one step away. Mm. Yeah, just leave them there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> You'll be able to manage by the stardom. You know, stardom has a, its challenges as well. Frida has a question, and it's burning. <laughs> No, I've decided to keep it. The oh, woman just was looking at me like, okay, are you sure you want to say it? You okay, say I've it. kept it. Uh, say it. Explorer is here. You say it. Roger I've kept it for Roger's sake. Explorer, so uh, we're still talking about your song, uh, Temperature. But uh, one would say you're trying to be like Nigerians, yet you're not Nigerian. How, what would you say about that? Yeah, Are you trying um, to do a, a, a style that doesn't belong maybe to you? No. It's talent. That's what I came to realize. I'm not a Nigerian. Yeah, but I sing like them, but I'm not them. Yeah, so I just believe what I do can, you know, can make my dream come true. You know, we all have vibes of music that we come with. Especially in Uganda, I've seen most guys are into rapping. They rap. In dance all stuff, and mm, I yeah. can't rap in they, dance. They do chidandali, it's yeah, called chidandali. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are so much into that. Mm. So I have done, okay, I've done a style that I know. When they look at the song and they look at me, they be like, yeah, the song suits you. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. And I make, it does suit you, by the way. Yeah, mm. so that's what I'm doing now. Okay. Mm. You see, I've I've always heard ex, ex flavor saying like my country in my country in my country. Do you have a dual citizens like you are Uganda and you are South Africa? Okay, let me say why I call South Sudan my country mm. is because I grew there also. Yes. Yeah, but I'm a Ugandan because my dad is a Ugandan. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. So let's let's come back here to Uganda and look. Let's talk about the local music here. Uh, do you think we have grown enough? Because as a, as a as a musical industry, we've seen the uh, evolution of Ugandan music. Uh, there were the, the, the old school Kadongo Kamu, mm. then came in the Bebe Cools, the Bobby Wines. Then we've come out with the Figfa makers of this world. These kids are. Do you see that uh, Ugandan music is going somewhere? And I, because you are an appreciator and a critic of Nigerian music, right? Mm -hmm. So I want you to first draw up a, um, a paradox for us and compare Nigeria plus Uganda. Do you think we are going somewhere or we are still in the same Yeah, game? I can say Uganda is going. Someone Uganda is coming calling. big. Oh, someone I is calling just calling. a minute. Yeah, you can pick up the call. Just a minute. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Beautiful. instances where the big artists ask money for collabs to do with you the upcoming artists have you faced that situation yeah I faced it twice oh. yeah and uh, to me I'm okay with it you okay with it because when I see myself right now I'm hustling mm. okay and then when I be big you know my past will start paying me yeah, so all these big artists you see today, they all started like this. Yeah, so when they ask for money, like they don't ask maybe for too much. Maybe someone can tell you, yo, okay, you want us to do a song? Okay, give me something like 500,000. Mm. Yeah, so that I can you know, support. Because the 500 is not just for him to sing, but it's also going to help you promote you. Yeah, because yes, it's a yes, brand. Yes. He's a yeah, he's a brand. brand. Mm. Yeah, so to me, I'm okay with it. Because because well, you, when you reach there, you also ask for money. <laughs> but to me, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, okay. Because you know the hassle, right? I know the hassle, right? Like, I can see it. I've seen many guys hustling. There are guys I even there's some magician I know. You know, he always walks around my neighborhood, and the work he's doing, I just pray someday. You know, he makes it. Mm. Yeah. So, to me, I just I don't see anything wrong in that. They also want to make the money. They, they yeah. also grew their brand in order to yeah, yeah. maybe, you know, also be big. And then you have to also pay for the brand, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay. So we're still going back to the questions we were. Compare Ugandan music and Nigeria. And, uh, 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 okay, first compare Ugandan music to our music ourselves. Mm -hmm. We compare each other. Then we compare to the global market, Nigeria. Do, do we stand a chance these days or we're still... Uganda stands at, let me, I can't say 100%, 1,000%. Mm -hmm. A thousand? Chance. Yeah. Wow. Because the Ugandan music is not the same. Everyone is coming the different style and is coming dangerous. Nigeria, whenever I hear most of their songs, they're doing almost the same style. Yeah, just that their market has gone big, but if they can't watch out, Uganda is coming. Mm. Uganda is really coming. <laughs> you know, yeah, I can say this. Mm. Because I believe in talent, I believe in what Ugandans have. It. And you see, you think Ugandans have enough talent? They really have it. Yeah. Okay. They have it because they use their language and uh, they use their style. Mm. Yeah, that's why you see most of their music are so enjoyable. Like, don't disappoint you. Mm. Yeah. Especially, I'm a big fan of Fik. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so all these songs, I, I, I don't get disappointed. Need to do I don't understand the language. Just yes, no, I don't understand the language. But, but I keep shaking my head. 
the melody. I, I keep making sure that, yeah, I say something in the song. You, you, and you feel the song, you, yeah, even yeah, if you don't know the words, but you feel it in your yeah, heart. Yeah, I feel it, because music has no language, just know that. Oh, how so? What do you mean by that? The music has yeah, no because if music could have language, they could say music is only in English, and everyone's supposed to use English. But you find out someone singing in Kiswahili, singing in Luganda, mm. you know, it's all of a vibe. This is the vibe that you bring out. That you bring out, that, yeah. is, that we really look out for. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have uh, Mr. X Flavor in studios. So Flavor, uh, your next projects, what are you looking at right now? Yeah, I'm looking up to make an album. My first album next year. Yeah, so. Album, how many songs is, going, is it going to comprise of? Do you have things written down, songs already written down? Yeah, I wrote some songs down. I want to make it like 15 songs album. Wow, that, that's yeah, big. Yeah. 15 songs is something that is so big. Yeah, yeah. You know? can, can you be able to pull it off? You know, an album comes with money, a lot of money. Yeah, it comes with money. Yeah. I have some guys who, are, you know, who got my back and they're going to sell the album for me. Because they've been, they have been there for me, especially my bro. Mm. He's been there for me. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the one we have in here, the yeah. one we have here in our van. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. By the way, we have a bro. I told him in the morning he looked so smart. I don't know, but he's there. You, he, he came with X flavor. So he's, he's uh, the money bag. He's the money yeah, bag. Yeah, so if you want money, money bag, he's the money bag himself. Yeah, yeah. I go with him everywhere. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. only, he's only yeah, you, you can really see he has money uh, by, by of, of his attire. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I, I, now everybody watching is like, how is he dressed? You will <laughs> see. <laughs> you will see. 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 Some achievements you've made, X Flavor, and you look back and you're like, I've achieved this in music, baby. Yeah, I've achieved a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you know, I'm grateful to God that I, I inspire this my age. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because most of the help I get is from outside. So most guys text me, Yo, you inspire me, I like your music. You yeah, give me a count number. Wow. I'll be like, Really? And they drop something. I, I just see money come out, you know? Like, oh. Oh. that's the achievement I'm seeing right now. Excellent. That is good. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, you have, you talked about people you like, like Fik Um Have you tried maybe to do a collaboration? Are you planning on doing a collaboration with artists yeah. like that? Have you reached out to them and oh, what were their maybe responses? Maybe having a collab already. Do you have oh, any collab oh, already? In Uganda. Mm. I don't have any collab yet. Outside Uganda? Outside Uganda, I have one collab. With? With some guy called uh, Victor J. Yeah. From, from which country? He's from Kenya. We did online collab. Mm. Yeah. It's called Victor J? Yeah, Victor J. Oh, okay. That yeah. sounds to be a nice tune that is. The song is already, is already out? Yeah, the song is out. We are trying to release it with a video. That's how we plan, actually. Oh. So, so you, you're not doing this thing of uh, first re releasing the audio so that can circulate, then you can do the video. Yeah, later. to me, I can release the audio, I can release the video anytime. Because, mm. you know, like, I know what it is, like, what it takes to release audio and video. Mm. So, yeah, so I just make sure that I first release my audio. Maybe after three weeks, mm. I release the video. Okay. After the video, the relax video. So first tell me, uh, do we already have uh, the, the, the audio out of you and that gentleman, the collaboration, or it's not yet out? There? Yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to have it today, but I did another one mm. with the Sudanese, I have it with me there. Oh. Yeah, it's an audio, I'm planning video, maybe some, uh, some one month to come now. Wow, wow. I, I think you're in the right trajectory, you, you have a lot of positivity, what brings that positivity? like? You believe something good is going to actually come. You know, in this day and era right now, people have lost hope. But yeah. I wonder where you still get the hope from, you as an individual. I get the hope because when I look back, you know, when I, when I look to see all the comments I get from people, from the fans, mm. 
I've never get a negative comment from Not anyone. We are positive vibers. Mm. So <laughs> I have that positive belief in me. Mm. Yeah. That oh. I'm doing the right thing and I'm gonna do the big thing. Mm. I know it. Yeah. When you see, when you used to sit back when you were, you were little and you are, you know, you were starting off this music career, you know, you would sit down and dream, and you're like, you know, I want to be like this. Do you feel like um, you fulfilled? You, you, at least you fulfilled part of your dreams. Personally. Yeah, I fulfilled part of my dreams because my first dream was to do music in Uganda. Because in Uganda, I have the sound, and. Most of the songs I released from Uganda, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly appreciated. Mm. Yeah, because of the studio quality, like the video, the studio, mm. and everything is just wow. It's just yeah. Good. So whatever I do here, like I see the belief that my dreams are already coming out. Mm. Yeah. Fast forward, if these dreams come out. You know, coping with fame is one of the biggest challenges. And when when we talk about that, we talk about challenges that comes with, uh, uh, first of all, you being a brand and people every time, everywhere you go, you don't have privacy. Then we talk about artists who even indulge into drugs and things like that. How are you planning, you as an individual, to go about that? Yeah, I can't say, like, uh, I want or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know. I never predict the future. Yeah, I can't predict my future. Mm, but you can plan it. <laughs> yeah, you can plan it, but things can change out. Things can yeah. change. Yeah. Cause you know, you can be like, you know, I'm singing. I don't want to drink. Mm. I don't want to smoke. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I don't smoke. Mm. But drinking, mm. whereby you 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 meet someone like, example, I go and meet someone like Chameleon. Maybe. They are the Chameleon Palazzo, these guys all on pool table, and they're all having drinks. There's no soda. Yeah, so you're supposed to make sure that you're also in, yeah, you're also in the staff. Uh -huh. yeah? But isn't that a challenge? Okay. I really want to doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really want to doubt that you will drink because you want to fit in. No, no, no. Mm. I'm not going to drink because I want to fit in. You drink. You know, I drink. Yes, I drink, but I'm not a drunker. <laughs> yes, I drink you know because uh, you know everyone, yeah. any, everything like yeah, you have to test anything. But it's okay. You know why he was really doubting his his, <laughs> his justification for drinking is people from Arua. Seventy percent of them drink. Seventy percent of the people from Arua drink. So I. So he's here trying to drink. So he wants to lie. But he has said that he drinks. Yeah. Hey, how are you trying to go? I really want to hear from him. How has Corona impacted you uh, professionally? Corona? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I can I can say it has bring down most of our businesses, especially in music. Because you can see, before Corona, there were concerts. New talents were coming out. Yeah, so you see that every year, new talent is in Uganda. Yeah, so in this lockdown, I'm seeing You're a little bit, yeah, a little bit challenge, not performing, mm. and uh, even hosting you sometimes is so risky. Yes, because you know Corona is real. Yeah. So to me, it's a little bit a challenge in the, in the lockdown. But, but they say in every uh, negative thing there is always something positive. Don't you think uh, Corona has made you realize that you can really do your music and put it online without yeah. doing these yeah, yeah, concerts yeah. and then make In this Corona it? season, I really have enough time, especially in this lockdown. You're home, I have that enough time to write songs. Yeah, so I make sure the songs I write are good to go. You know, they are good to go to the people out there. Yeah, so this, at least, this is the only benefit I've seen in the lockdown because yeah. I, I had that free time because everything was really working out for me. I was writing my songs. Yeah, I was going to the studio actually, yeah. like doing songs. Yeah. Just something I would like to know as uh, you're writing music. Have you ever thought about maybe first selling your music to somewhere, or you always write your music for yourself to to sing it? Yeah, I write my music, 
you're saying. And uh, if anyone out there, I'm also a writer. Mm. Yeah, if anyone out there want to buy my music, you're free. You come to me, yeah, we talk a business, I give you the song. Okay. Yeah. So what are your social media platforms, by the way? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. My, ne my Facebook page is X Flavor. Mm. Yeah. And then on Instagram, I'm called uh, I am your same boy on Instagram. I am your same boy on Instagram. On Twitter is uh, I am X Flavor official. Yeah. Telegram is X Flavor, of course. Yeah. You also have Telegram. Yeah, these days, yeah. people. Right, but let's talk about a very uh, rising complex in music that these days we have to buy music uh, according to you know very many artists now. We, uh, we saw Apers coming out and he said. We need you guys need to start buying my music. It, uh, all the platforms that have a uh, person's music, the Howbeats and what those free platforms. He said no. He wants people to actually buy music. But uh, do you think it's uh, the Ugandan community is actually ready to buy music offline, online, and they're like they're going to pay you as an artist for the song you did, or you think it's that is one of the other fictitious things we are putting up? Yeah, to me, I'm saying it like uh, it's all about your hard work. Yeah. If your work is really hard, they can buy. Okay? They don't just buy music. They buy quality. Quality. They buy your hard work. Yeah, because you can't just do music. You'll be like, hey, you need to buy me music. No. You first need to go local. Then you go big. You know? Oh, yeah. like you first have to first go in the dirt, make yeah. sure you build a name for yourself. Yeah, you build your name, you make sure you're now a brand. Mm. Okay, you're now a big person. Whereby you even don't say that, like you even don't ask them to buy. buy they even music. come and buy. They buy your music, yeah. without you even uh, asking them. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that that is something that is, is really it's a very very controversial topic right now. Yeah. Uh, in, in Uganda, as today as we're speaking, but then X Flavor, let's talk about uh, your, the music that you've been writing, and uh, you you've said people can actually come and buy from you this particular music, mm -hmm. and uh, I asked you earlier on where, where you get the vibe from because mm -hmm. that is also something very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and he yeah. Said he watches, um, yeah, he watches Nigerian movies and you get your inspiration from there. Mm. But then, uh, what, what, there's something that many artists get the vibe from a uh, height, maybe it's a, uh, they, they're smoking something, maybe they're taking something. Uh, do, you, do you get the vibe after taking something or it just comes automatically? I, okay. Honestly speaking. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> mm. To be honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I get so much into the vibe when I drink something. You do it? When I take something, yeah. like I drink. Yeah. What is your best drink? Ah, I'm really not even asking this question. I'm asking after getting, uh -huh. after yeah. I get, I get into the vibe. Yeah. When, when I drink something, mm. I bring quality verses. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, better. yeah, nothing challenges me when I'm writing my song. Mm. Yeah. But ex, uh, ex do you uh, write your songs based on situations or you just sit there and then come up with a song, come up with uh, a lyrics? I write songs based on situations. Mm. Yeah, because the thing I go, the, like the song I sing goes to the people. Mm. Yeah, I, I sing the song according to what I see what out I there. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we still have Mr. X Flavor in studios. I think it's uh, three minutes to eight. 30 a.m. We're about, by the way, to end the show at, uh, at around in a few minutes from now. But before we end the show, let's talk about uh, production in Uganda, uh, video production. Yeah. And uh, videos are actually so expensive. Yeah, they are. They're expensive. Uh, yeah. who, who do you think is one of the greatest videographers we have in this country now? And why do you actually think them? Okay. And you should tell us who even shot the video because the yeah. video is actually so in nice. Uganda, very nice. Mm. In Uganda, according to me, someone I know is big in shooting video in Uganda right now mm. is Shasha Vibe. Mm. Yeah, Shasha Vibe, because she has even shoot to some guys out there. I've, I've seen But many people say that Shasha Vibe is, uh, is good, but he's overrated. That's what they say. They say what Sasha can do, zero, zero 01 can do as well. Yeah, let me say, mm. it's all about the brand. The way you brand it. Yeah, yourself. the way you brand yourself. Mm. 
Yeah, I've seen Shasha vibe. Do I have, do I have not worked with him, but I dream of working with him one day. You will work with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone like Marvin Musoke. Yeah, Marvin Musoke. Marvin also is some big guy. Marvin is the guy for, um, what is this, what are they called, uh, Swans, right? Yeah, Swans have been, yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. yeah he's also some big guy because I've seen none of his work. He's really dangerous. Yeah, and there are guys like Zero One. Okay, let me say Uganda has many video directors. The videos are nice. Yeah. Yeah, the videos are nice. Yeah. Okay, who did your video? I have a guy called uh, that guy Delta. Delta? Yeah. He's, I've heard of Delta before, I think. He's some crazy director. Like, <laughs> I like his work. Yeah, I like his work because. I've seen his work before. He has even shoot for Fik before. Mm. Yeah, so I get inspired in what I see in that guy's magic. Mm. Like, okay, I want him to shoot for me temperature. Oh, so he, he came and uh, were you impressed with the job he did? With I was really very impressed. <laughs> like, because even on the shoot day, mm. the way things were organized, mm. yeah, it was mm. really so amazing. I want to look at. Um, the temperature and just one st song like that. And let's can let's calculate the money you've invested in that song. Mm. Let's start with the audio. Uh, where did you the where did you do the audio? And if you don't mind, can you yeah. tell us about the pricing of the audio? Yeah, I did the audio. And that was the experience from you built in that audio. Yeah, I did the audio from a producer called Cybit. He lives in Freedom City. Yeah, so I paid five hundred for the audio. Yeah. How was the process you doing there with it? Was did it come easy? Did did they master the sound? Did he help you in some way or the other? Maybe change the lyrics there or something like that? Yeah, I like Cybits. Mm. He's also a writer. Yeah, so mm. when I brought when I brought my vibe actually yes. uh, he's one of my big fans too. Like, mm. Whenever I go to the studio, whatever I do, everything good. Yeah, he just tells me I should Maybe make this voice like this, this and that. You know? Yeah. So he understands my vibes when it comes to beats and that. Uh, so did he even add in like uh, a lyrics and tells you because I I, I hear because mm. I'm, I'm I'm not like really been in studios a lot of times, mm. but I hear that the, the producer you can bring the song and then the producer can tell you maybe let's change this statement and make it this and maybe sometimes it always comes out better in the other way. Yeah. Did yeah. he actually add in something in the the lyrics says or something? Yeah, he adds something mm. where I say it like uh, when I see you, mm. yeah, mm -hmm. I see everything I've been wanting. That's what he told me. Mm. Then I, I brought a vibe where it's supposed to be like after when I see you, your body, you know, yeah, it's still calling me. This, mm. yeah, you know, music uh, like so crazy. <laughs> it was tickling. Yeah, tickling. That's why I put my language tinga laga tinga laga like. You no, know, someone tickle you just. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, tinga langa, that is what it means in your, in your life. Flavor, yeah. why did you choose to call yourself X Flavor? Yeah, let me say I was a big fan of Mr. Flavor too. Oh, the other flavor. In my childhood, guy. yeah. Oh. So I put X Flavor to be man. like extra flavor. There's another extra flavor living in Uganda. <laughs> so X is for extra. Yeah, I'm another yeah. extra flavor yeah. here. But the other one is the true flavor. Yeah, he's the true flavor, but there's another flavor somewhere. <laughs> that is a bit spiced and extra. Yeah, extra. yeah. <laughs> so what are your real names? Yeah, my real name is Benson, Justin. Yeah. So the name they gave me from South Sudan is Paite. Paite? Yeah, Paite means I'm fine. Yeah. Benson Ojuk. Justin. Benson Justin Paite. Benson Justin Paite. Yeah. Oh, okay. But X Flavor is so different from men. You know, people like to change the names and yeah. they, they, they remove a cup. Bio, they say ends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I remember those couples in high school. Yeah, yeah. There's this, I'll say Roger. And, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> then uh, 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 <laughs> I wasn't going to say you know. Okay. But you, you know you add example. you add you add the names and they bring out a name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give me an example your name. Some of the people may understand. Okay, I was saying like, okay, if you say Edgar and uh -huh. and someone and any I don't know and and Farida uh -huh. and so you say Ed Fa <laughs> Yeah Ed Never Fa. forget Ed Fa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was thinking you're going to say why you, you the way the way you come. But mm. X Flavor is so unique by the way. Yeah. So you, you you look up to flavor? Yeah. 
Mm. But uh, mm. for now, mm. yeah, let me say I'm a big fan of Mr. Flavor. Yeah. But I can't be him. Mm. I can't be like him. Mm. I want to be me. Mm. Yeah, like. You want to do you. Yeah, I want to be me. Like I want to build in your me. own your way. Yeah, yeah, in my own way. Yeah, yeah, because now yeah. you cannot always look up to someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just, you just exactly enjoy exactly. them. But yeah, that that is the same thing with yeah, me. Yeah. I can look at someone and I like them, but I want to be them in my own way, yeah. not them in their own way. You yeah, know, some sure. people, most of the people like to copy and look at. Hey, I want to be like X Flavor. Mm. Want, but by the way, what I, what is that message you send out to someone who's uh, right there also? You know where you are, and they're writing music. They're in high school and. Uh, they don't know what, they feel like all they can do is music, but they're just kept in school for now. What do you have to tell them, a young person? Yeah, there? you don't need to rush. Yeah, you don't need to rush, because you still have enough time to come out with a dream, you know? Keep writing. Mm. If you really believe you can do this, you don't give up. Yeah, because mm. giving up is a sin. That's the truth. Yeah, so... If you really have the talent and you see you have not yet gone to the system, I just want you to know that you're going to make it out. Just you need to keep the spirit. Yeah, you don't need to give up. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, yeah. But as well as they don't need to also leave school. Yeah, because don't leave school. Uh, no. Don't leave school. <laughs> Many of them want to leave school. If you leave don't school, leave school uh, <laughs> it's a big problem. <laughs> Where is the yeah, Nigerian? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He loves the Nigerian yeah. accent. And I really want to know, uh, among the big artists that we have in Uganda, who would you want to do a collab with? In Uganda, yeah. I would like to do collab with Fig Fumet. That's it. That's the guy. Everyone loves this guy's music. Yeah. Everyone, guy. even a baby, can born can today can even you. sing it. I know. Uh, can even sing yes, can. music. Can sing the song, of course. Can rock on Vicky's yeah. job. Have you tried look, looking out for him or something? Yeah, I've tried. Because he has this guy, he always chills with that is a selector, Jeff, mm. who did a boy fire with Shiba. Mm. Yeah, and Jeff is my friend too. And I was told him, yo, like, I want to meet Femeka one day. Mm. Like, yeah, it's going to be easy. Mm. Yeah, come, find the day you come, we go meet Femeka. Oh, so have you gone? Or you I haven't yet gone because it was in lockdown. You know, oh. these guys don't take people with corona like that. Mm, okay. So I, I just want to make sure the situation is down, everything good, then I find the day I go. When you meet him and he accepts to do a collab with you, I, I wonder how you will look. <laughs> I'll just die and resurrect. I'll go to him and I'll come back. That's all. Yeah, sure. And you'll die and I resurrect. Like, yes, yeah. that is the power of That's me. It. People have a lot of passion. So, um. Are we going through the comments? Yeah, you can post and I, comments. I have really, really um, different names. Actually, different viewers for today's news. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Uh, Rex Rosie. Explorer, tell us about some artists you like in your other side of South Sudan. Yeah, I like people from my country. I love them. Yeah, mm. likes of Silver Eggs, mm. the Hard Life Avenue, actually, the lost one of their brother. They are three, they're like oh. Virusi. Oh. Yeah, rest in peace. Wow. Sorry, and Danny. Sorry, sorry. And then uh, someone like uh, DJ Saint, yeah, Big Up. Yeah, like, I have many guys, Kim Swag, yeah, like, we big have guys. Kim Swag here in Uganda, don't you? <laughs> Do you like Kim Swag? Has the a, other female... I don't remember if he was a, but he was a man, Kim Swag. He's a man, right? He's a man who behaves yeah. like a female. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to be called. He wants... Yeah. He does yeah. South Sudanese. He's so legendary. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah, he yeah, was... Yeah, yeah. Kim Swag. Yeah, sure. He's the one, eh? Yeah, he's the one. Yeah, he's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Rogers, you have a gambler. What are your real names? I think he has answered that. Do um, you remember the names? Yes, Justin Benson. Paite. Paite. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, Shamim. Uh, Shamim William, you, get the t you got the talent, X Flavor. Thanks for the music. I have. Oh, oh it, it, it's a message. Uh, Jeremiah Machivi, thank you, Dick Talk Team, for giving platform to this talented young man. But. Jags, you hear the people that I own on my life. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're but alternative Uganda, bad Jags. Mm -hmm. You're the alternative Uganda. I'm Jags, the bad boy, Afrobeat artist Whoa. from Taos. That's my bro. Oh. Yeah, he's around. He's around. That's my bro. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for watching. Oh, okay, that. greetings from us here. One Love X Flavor Eddie and our female host, Bro, tell us yeah. is there any deal X for us? Pardon? The question that it came last is Bro, tell us is there a deal X for us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. What is there one the bad jugs. The bad jugs. Jugs, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Bad jugs. <laughs> <laughs> have names on social media. <laughs> bad jugs. No. Yeah. His viewers are different from my uh, my normal viewers. I always watching. I always have the name yeah. Soke. Yeah. <laughs> Today we have bad jugs. Yeah. Ah, yeah, when you have an international jugs. artist, mm. he comes with international following. But, yeah. uh, okay, let me keep my comment. <laughs> now this other name I will not mention it. I don't. I don't really think I will have. I will give it the right pronunciation. Yeah. But he, the comment says, this has been a hidden talent. We really need more promotion for him. Congratulations to him. He deserves it. Thanks a lot. Mm. Yeah. Let him do a capella for us. He has yeah, done yeah, that. Yes. <laughs> uh, same picture. We need a capella. He gave a capella to Musi Mekato. Is you watching? Thank you for watching. Twist Jero Lens, you watching live. Thank you for being and Tomo Hembi Senoman, you also on watching live. Our Facebook page is the Alternative Uganda. We have a few means to the top of the show. We thank you all that are on our live, uh, my other YouTube viewers. You will wait for the show in the next two or three hours. It will be there. Thank you for watching. We still have X Flavor in the studios. He is going to tell us what we should expect from him in his upcoming project. Yeah. Do you plan to do a Luganda song? Yeah. I am really sure you can do a song even if you do not know the language. Yeah, I'm, I can really do a song in Luganda language. So, I just want you guys to expect more hits, yeah, more big songs. Yeah, I'm not yet big, but I'll be big, I know. Yeah, so. And you're also big in your own way. Yeah, I'm because big in my now own you way. can be big to me. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm big in my own there. way. Yeah. <laughs> so next week I'm releasing my video and I want you guys to subscribe to X What's Flavor. the title of that song? Oh, sorry for interrupting. The one you released. Yeah, you're releasing week. next week. Uh, I'm releasing Ginger. Mm -hmm. I have a song Ginger. The video is coming out. Of Ginger. It's yeah. called Ginger. Yeah. Okay. Temperature is going to be available the, too. The, the city or ginger? No, no, ginger space. is a word that uh, <laughs> yeah, making you feel good inside. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, how wish you give us a, 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 a pair of ginger. <laughs> yeah, it's like me now. She said, Nami, they make a ginger. Ginger. Nami, they make a ginger. Yeah. She said, Nami, they make a ginger. Ginger. Nami, they make a ginger. She said, Nami, they make a go natina te. Oh boy, go na tina te, yeah, yeah. Go na tina te, oh boy, go na tina te, yeah, yeah. I see many girls in my bedroom. I see many girls in my washroom. Me could not never stop cause me want to. Oh, Lord. She looking so amazing. She make a bad man going crazy. Girl, you my lady. Me love the way you make me go crazy. She said, baby, I love the way you holding my body. My body, yeah. So can we, yeah. Make some love tonight, just you and me. Oh. You and me. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's gonna be a nice track. Uh, I yeah, guess yeah. on what, what type of beat? Uh, there's a question. Uh, I'm 21. 21? Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. Someone yeah. is disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone is disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think. Yeah. Yo, Mr. Flavor, yeah. I was even going to call you Mr. Flavor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. X Flavor, thank you so much for joining us on the Mighty yeah. Drive yeah. today. And uh, that song, before we go, What's the song call. about? You have a call? call. Yeah. yeah, let's pick up the call. <laughs> Hello, you are watching the Mighty Drive. Hey, good, sir. Good morning. Good morning, dear. Uh, thanks for the show. Thanks for the guest. We are really humble. He's a talented guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is Arnold. Yes, Arnold. I uh, just uh, want to know what inspires his music and because some of the key challenges that he has faced in his journey and what are his prospects 
What inspires your music? What challenges have you faced? And what are your future prospects? Yeah, what inspires me in music is uh, I'm talented, that's one. And uh, I really have the positive vibe from the people. The kind of encouragement I get, I get mm. inspired. The feedback yeah, to give more energy. Mm. Yeah. And challenges, yeah, I just face a little bit challenge when it comes to promotion. Mm. You know, yeah, it's not easy to promote music. That's what I know. But we still keep going out. Yeah, so for the past week of my future, like like I said before, I can't con I can't predict my future. Mm. Yeah, but I can make but plans. You do your best. Yeah, I can do my best. Yeah, to always keep the vibe positive. Yes. Um, no, maybe the last one would be he didn't tell us about how much he invested in the videos because you know yeah, why yeah, I want yeah. to ask these things I want someone to be there and know the yeah. price and the cost of doing good music in this yeah, country sure. yeah. yeah, for the video mm. I paid 1.5 million yes. and for the audio? 500,000 500, that is a little bit, that, that, that is 2 million Plus the transportations, the costumes, yeah, you know, they buying the foods for the people, paying and, for the venue, yeah, paying venue, you know, like wasn't easy. Yeah, so that is about three point something there. Mm, okay. Yeah. So no. that's a nice investment, though. It's a worthwhile investment. And we haven't talked about the promotions, the, the money he's paying for the DJs, the MCs to play his music. That's it's really, really damn music. expensive. Mm. That's yeah. the price of Ugandan music. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. X Flavor. Uh, your parting shots, you can give them your last remarks, tell them what they should expect, what do they, what do you want to be, anything. Just take it away. Yeah, guys, I just want to say, like, you know, um, the same boy, yeah, you know, we are Africans, we are one. So I just want you guys to help me achieve, help me achieve my dreams, yeah. I want you guys to share my music to the world, like, I just really, I want to have this dream big, yeah. And it's only you, the people that can make me be big, yeah. not only me, yeah. So expect more songs from me, more hits, no disappointment. Yeah. You haven't told us the name of the money bag right in front there. Yeah. People should know their names. They should go and look out for it. Yeah. And, and you, I wish you was here. Okay. Use on your social media sites. People should look out for you and, and maybe subscribe and like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. On YouTube, on YouTube, I'm um, X Flavor, X Flavor Music on YouTube. On Facebook, my page is X Flavor. Yeah. Mm. On Instagram, you find me. I am your same boy on Instagram. Twitter, I am X Flavor Official. Yeah, so, you're bigger, bro. Kirison, Mark, yeah, big up to you, you know, you stand by me. Like, I don't know what I've, like, what I've what done without you. Without him. Yeah. Kirison, Mark, are his names on social media? Yeah, I don't know Senior Mark. <laughs> he's on, face, on Facebook, he's a Senior Mark. Mm. Senior yeah, Mark. Yeah, yeah, Senior Mark. He did, he did some fashion, a lot of things. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's why he was looking like a fashion king. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank is. you so much, X Flavor. Yeah. Uh, it was nice jamming to your jams and yeah, I'm thank nice you. to jam to them. I yeah, like yeah. your song and yeah, I'll thanks. be downloading it anytime soon. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the show. It was a very, very a fruitful discussion. We have uh, the man X Flavor was in the building and he was talking about his music career. By the way, this boy is one for on the lookout. Look out for him because, man, he is going to be the next big thing in this country. Not only in Uganda, but in Africa and the whole world at large. The will feel a Mr. X flavor. He has his boy. He's a fashion king. He's already also there. And uh, he's the money bag. <laughs> he's called Senior Mark. Senior Mark, thank you so much for being in uh, X flavor today. In studios, we worked with uh, my producer of the day, the beautiful Teddy Tenjo and Ted Ted on Instagram. I have a call uh, before, before, before you go. Before, okay. before, before. <laughs> Let's pick up one before you go. Hello, you are watching the live drive. Please make it snappy. Our show is ending.
Hello, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. May I know who I'm um, talking to? My name is Lillian. Oh, yeah, Lillian. Yeah, and I would like uh, to ask a musician, Flavor, why do first musicians wear shades when going for interviews? <laughs> we didn't see his eyes yet. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Uh, are you having yeah. any other questions? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd like to know why do most musicians wear shades when going for interviews? Are they shy? Mm. My, my, maybe, maybe not. He will answer. Will tell us. Let's, let's hear. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Lillian, for watching us. Um, Explain why you had a question. Um, are you shy? I'm not shy. Okay. Why is the shades in the morning? Is it okay? I move the shades. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I think she will really want to, to see. see the eyes. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not shy. I'm not shy. <laughs> but, uh, okay, it's uh, okay. It's our habit. Mm. Uh, everyone has to wear eyeglass uh. going for interview. <laughs> yeah, but it's not that I'm shy. Uh. Yeah, so, you don't shy. You uh, can't. I can't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, x mm. um, We've had x in the building. It was really an, a fruitful discussion. We had fun. As I was telling you, I've worked with Ted Tenjo at Ted Ted on Instagram, uh, then uh, Tenjo Ted on Instagram, then Rogers Studio Highway. Yes, you can find him on Rogers Studio on Twitter and all other social media platforms. Then, our director of the day is uh, none other than Tumuzime Kato Bro. Uh, big up to you. You always make the magic happen. Yes, and then, as I told you, Selector Mark was in the building. Senior Mark was also in the building. X Flavor worked with them. And uh, the beautiful Farida we covered, eh? she's here as well. Then, Edgar Matthew Karanga, thank you so much for watching. Uh, keep it the Alternative Uganda, that is on Facebook and on YouTube. Then we air every Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we are going to meet uh, to Monday, not tomorrow. Evan, but I really tomorrow want we have to shout out Edgar before yeah. you close. I really yeah. want to, to send shout outs to okay. Evan yeah. Mio, who is telling me really, he really can't wait for Snap Talk yeah. and he can't really guess the topics yeah. that he prepares yes. his questions. Thank you for always looking out for Snap Talk. Yeah, Snap Talk, by the way, is coming in tomorrow at 6 a, a 6 p.m. Yes, 6 p.m. Snap Talk with your girls. We go out with a song from uh, Mr. X Flavor himself. It's called What Temperature? temperature. Yeah. It is temperature from the mighty drive to you. Temperature. <laughs> you tell me when you're ready because I. you the cool of my temperature. Temperature. The way you talk, you the cool of my temperature. Temperature. The way you wind out there, yeah, you the cool of my temperature. Temperature. The way you talk, you the cool of my temperature, temperature. Oh na, oh na, oh na, na. Do it like that, bring it like that. Bring your body closer to me, body like that. Girl, I wanna feel it every time it goes like that. When you chopping in my money in the city like that. Do me like that, bring it like that. Bring your body closer to me, body like that. Girl, I wanna feel it every time it goes like that. When you chopping in my money in the city like that. Ooh. But baby, you will not realize that my life will depend on you. If you leave me and run away, girl, I put all my blame on you. Yeah. As you that see me, so I'm ready for your love. Girl, I need you in my life. Yeah. When I see you, I see everything I've been wanting for life. And baby, your body. It de make me think alaga liga laga yo 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 Era The way you wind now there you the cool of my temperature Temperature The way you talk you the cool of my temperature Temperature The way you wind now there you the cool of my temperature Temperature The way you talk you the cool of my temperature Temperature Oh na oh na oh na na Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. 
Real Talk. 